Um, oh yeah, it's going. Okay, so here we are. Um, Saturday. And today I'm going to try and work out how to do a rotisserie chicken. What fun, eh? So, um, I'm just going to get the camera set up so you can see what I'm doing as I prepare the chicken to go on the rotisserie. Just bear with me a second. <clears throat> okay, so I've got a one and a quarter kilo chicken um, because you can't get a big chicken in here. It's got to be a small one. So here we are. Just um, here's the chicken. I'm sorry I haven't set up very well. This is the best I can do at the moment. Now I'm just going to dry it with kitchen towel. Just in case you don't know, you shouldn't uh, you shouldn't wash um, a chicken before you cook it, but you do need to dry it. We're just going to dry it with a kitchen towel so it's not it's not wet. There we go. Now what we're going to do? Oh wait a minute! First of all, um, what I want to do is I want to put the oven on to heat up. This is the, the mistake I made last time, isn't it? Wash my hands. So I've been touching the chicken. Um, Sorry about that. So yes, so that was the first thing I want to do. So I'm going to heat the oven up. First of all, first of all, I'm going to put the function onto rotisserie. There you go. Rotisserie's down here. There we go. Um, I'm not not sure what you'd have the temperature on. I'm going to put it on 200. What would you cook a chicken on? Um, gosh, it was so automatic in my old halogen oven. Um, right, oven cooked from chilled. 190, fan 170. So, okay, I'll, I'll just notch it under 200. And... I'll put it on. It hasn't come on. I haven't turned it on at the wall again, have I? I'm good at this. There we go. Yay! Magic. So I'll put it on to heat up for five minutes or so while I'm doing this. Um, so, all I need to get out is some. Um, Butter and I'm going to so I'm not gonna take the skin off obviously because the skin is the best bit, but I'm going to loosen the skin from the flesh. Yeah, that's easy enough to do. Off the breast. Hands again. <sighs> I'm going to spread a little butter. seasoning. That's probably backwards to you, isn't it? 
uh, Cajun seasoning, which I'm going to apply liberally. seasoning is in lumps. I don't know how many lumps you need. Um, I'm going to sp I'm going to spray it. I'm going to sp I'm going to spray it. This It's a long time since I've used this Cajun seasoning, so it's um, it's not powder, apparently. Um, unfortunately, it's lumpy. But there we go. Rotisserie um, dangerous implement. I'm going to stick one end to the chicken and out the other side and have this. in the middle of this um, rods, with the chicken to be in the middle of the rods. I've got it all one end at the moment. Rotisserieing a chicken in, in a small oven like this online, but I did find one where he tied it up with string, like plastic. Um, I'm just going to go and get some. I'm just going to go and get some string so I can truss it up. I'll be back in a minute. I haven't got the right string. Um, I'm gonna, I'm gonna hope this isn't too unhygienic. I've just, I've only got thin string, so I'm just making it, um, holding it four times so that it's thicker. And I'll tie it up. together. 
to make me want to go vegetarian, isn't it? Um, okay, that's the oven is heated up. That's good. Take another piece of string. Folded four times. And oh, that's not going to work. I haven't cut that long enough, that piece of string. Can I make it work? Maybe. There we go. No, I didn't do that properly. Can I? Oh my goodness me. I don't know what this chicken ever did to deserve this kind of humiliating treatment. If you're vegetarian or vegan, please look away now. <laughs> there we go. I'm going to put some more Cajun on because it's... Seems to have rubbed off a bit while I was doing that. Oh, that was a lot, wasn't it? Let's stick some under the skin. There we go. Right. Fingers crossed that this can work. secure. It doesn't look like it's long enough. The rod doesn't look like it goes all the way along properly. Oh god, like that. Oops, a little bit. Okay, I was saying going to fall off of there. That's very on the edge this side. This side it doesn't look as if it's long enough. It's gone in the other end. Well this is an experiment. I think as a cross and we're hoping for the best. The only problem I have with this rotisserie is that going to stay on there very well right is that even with a tiny chicken like this and this was the smallest one that I could find um, to feed my my little family of three uh, that come in today um, is there's nothing on the bottom to protect these these heating elements from the from the oil that's going to come out of the chicken so um that is the right way isn't it maybe i've put it in the wrong way am i putting it in the wrong way um well 
you know, people. So I'm going to move that along a bit more because it's still not in the middle. It's on over one side a little bit. Uh, let me try it that way around. I don't think it does go that way around. Yes. Yep, there you go. Get it the right way around. That's the question. On that side, there's a solid piece, uh, like a little nodule thing. And on this side, it's a broken nodule. So that's the piece that's going in that side. Right, so as I was saying, I can't get a drip tray under there and have it turn. What's gonna happen is all the oil that drains from it is gonna go on the bottom and on this, on this um, element here. Which means you know, you will have to make sure that you clean it off afterwards, otherwise that's going to burn every time you turn the oven off. So here we go. Right. Are we ready for this? I'm going to put it on an hour. On It's on the temperature. It's on, it's on 190 at the moment. 190. Okay. On rotisserie on high speed I don't know let's have a look and we'll put it on for an hour turn the dial all the way round it's turning can you see that it's turning oops a daisy I'm moving you a bit oh, 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 oh. moving you a little bit nearer kind of moving, kind of turning. Well, it's wiggling. <laughs> no, he's not rotisserieing, is he? I thought he was going to then, but he's, he's not on this. He's not on there solidly enough, is he? I'm gonna stop it. Get him out. And um, it's really quite warm. It heats up really quickly in this oven. I bet. Oh, I can't shut the door. It'll start again. Um, okay, what I'm going to do is I'm going to try and get this, this prong, this side, to go more up into the breast again. I don't know if that's worked. And the same with this side. I undo it. Pull it out. Oops, maybe. And again. Goodness me. Okay. And tr try and push this more into the side breast. I don't know that you can. Really. I don't know if that's any good. Let's try again. 
He's going around nicely now, so right. The important thing is to make sure that the the prongs go into the fleshy parts of the breast. I have to squash the breast down because they don't lift up very high, so their inclination is to go into the cavity, and then it's not holding it tightly enough. So here we go. So we're going to leave him joyfully rotissering <laughs> or whatever the word is and he should be ready in an hour so in the meantime I'll get the vegetables ready and when it's coming up to the hour, I'll join you back on again. See you soon. So I'll just let you have a little look to see that it's still going. It's dripping a lot of um, fat into the bottom. It's not it going onto the bottom that worries me because there's a pull out tray of course and that can be cleaned quite easily. It's the element, so I can see the element at the back has got quite a lot of fat on it. And of course every time you heat up that element, that fat is going to burn. So it's going to need a really good clean out after this. But it's looking okay. I think. Anyway, be back a bit later. Browning off beautifully, look. Fabulous. It's got about 15 minutes left to go. I don't know if it'll be ready in 15 minutes, but it'll be ready to see if it's ready anyway. So it's coming on beautifully. Okay, so we're about to go ding. I did check it just now to make sure that it was cooked and it is cooked and it looks lovely, it looks delicious. What? So this is a useful, useful little item this is for getting that out. There we go. Can you see? Yes you can. Um, try and turn him over. Ow, ow, ow. That one, that's it. Just want to show you how lovely he looks. Lovely and juicy. Mm. Look at that. Oh, yeah. Oops, amazing. I forgot, I can't tip it. There we go. Oh, there we go. Look at that. That looks lovely, doesn't it? All cajun -y. Oh, it smells delicious. I don't know if you can see from there. I must also learn how, learn how to set up my... Um, oops, Daisy. Learn how to set up my camera so I can get a better view. I'm just going to cut a bit. 
to that breast. There we go, look. Oh, look how lovely that is. It's steaming away. Beautiful. Taste. Oh my goodness, that's really lovely. That is so soft. Dear yeah, Arlo, come and have a taste. Yeah, hot. Yeah, that's alright, you can be on there. It might be a little bit hot. Tell the camera what you think. Hot, is it? Oh. What do you think about it? Good. Thumbs up. Give the camera a thumbs up. There we go. Thank you very much. My little helper for the day. Okay. Right. I should get on with the rest of the dinner now.